Hey YouTubers, DW's Garage here again. Today I'm going to be installing tire lettering on my car. Um, I ordered tire lettering a little while ago. Um, ones that say shaker and then another two piece here that goes scat pack. Um, in yellow I think it goes with the blue quite well on my car but we're going to be installing it today at least starting on at least one tire um, most of your instruction videos and everything that I've seen is you know take some sandpaper sand down the area where you're gonna be gluing your uh, tire lettering on you know, go from one grit, you know, higher grit to a finer grit to make it smooth. Well, I've decided to go a little bit different route. <coughs> I've got a little sanding or grinding wheel onto a drill. I figured that might be a little bit faster. Um... Lettering that I did buy, I ordered online from tire stickers. Um, ones that were more permanent. I mean, there's different grades out there, different ones you can get. Um, looked at ones that were a little less permanent, but ones, you know, you can throw on your vehicle for a car show or whatever if you want, and they, they'll last maybe three weeks or something like that. These are more along the permanent lines. These are actually a rubber base. So, you know, kind of like tire patch material almost, you might say. Um, but anyways, these are supposed to last the pretty much life of the tires. I'm hoping they'll last the life of the tires anyways, as long as I can keep my foot out of it. <laughs> um, but, basically got some glue you know you glue them on so we'll see how it goes Let's see what we can set up here Kind of got everything kind of marked out already. Just drawing a line in here to where I'm going to go to to remove the lettering. Um, the tires that this car comes with are originally Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar tires. Um, I ordered mine one inch size. And on these tires where the lettering for the Eagle F1 Goodyear is, they're within two lines approximately an inch with little fine raised in here also some lettering for certain things um, so I'm gonna remove all of this in here and hopefully it goes well just gonna make some measurements
So the areas that I just marked off are going to be from these lines here and these lines here, everything in the middle I'm going to remove. Um, this is where I'm going to put in the scat pack. Opposite side will be the shaker. Get a rough idea here. First, anyways, you got scat. Put that together right there. And we got pack. Scat pack. And yep, looks like they fit within my lines. I would say without further ado, let's get grinding, or in this case, burning rubber. A lot of rubber coming off. <laughs> I think this is probably faster than sanding. Okay. I got my grinding done on the tire. As you can see, there's, uh, you know, maybe not be able to see, but there's, yeah, fine little lines and then nothing. Ground it down all the way around till that point. Got to clean it. Going to take a little bit of cleaning, but. That's a lot of rubber, <laughs> especially when it's aerated. Um, anyways, we got to clean it with some acetone. And they do say it takes about five to ten times to actually clean this off. So it's going to take some, take some time. But got some acetone. You can go over to Lowe's and get it, or hardware store, wherever. Um, but we want to wipe it down and get it clean. I mean, there's going to be a lot of rubber residue that I just got on there. I'm cleaning it. You can just faintly see the lines and everything from when I did it, but it's smooth, even though you can faintly see them. Oh, I've got some construction going on in the neighborhood. I don't know if you guys can hear the saws. Still getting some dirt. But you want to make sure you get it clean as possible. Don't want anything to stop it from hearing as well as it possibly can on these tires. Running out of room on my rag here, or at least on the ends. A little bit less. 
later. This acetone dries really fast, so you can pretty much use it and then go ahead and start pretty much right after. Of course, if none of you want to go downtown and buy some uh, acetone from Lowe's or anything in a big enough thing, just grab your wife's or girlfriend's nail polish. That's acetone. Gonna take my heat gun right here and heat up the tire a little bit, get it a little bit warmer. According to the directions, you're supposed to put this on when the minimum temperature is about 65 degrees, which I'm over that out here today, so I'm not going to have any issues, but still like using the heat gun to help uh, aid in anything. Also, as well as getting the glue to dry and get a good contact between the uh, lettering and the uh, tires themselves with the glue. Power. Also they say to take the back of the lettering and just lightly clean it with some acetone as well. I'll just take my rag here and just gently brush it a little bit. So now they've already got it on these lettering, so it already matches obviously the arc at the tire because you put in the uh, size tire that you're uh, buying these letterings for, and then they send it to you already in an arc, and then I notice that. You got one sheet of plastic and then you got another individual plastic which goes over top of the actual lettering to help protect it, but it doesn't look like it's coming apart too well or sticking too well, so I'm just going to take these and I'm going to apply them individually because I don't think it's going to... I've got two lines here, like I said, i got to fit the letters into and I think it's just going to be too much of a pain to try and make sure that these are just right if I do this all in one shot. So I'm with so anyways, I'm going to take the glue
and the glue says to smear it on the bottom or on the back of the letter moderately and then just use the tip to uh, spread the glue around on the back here so we will do that as best we can Oh yeah, nothing like the delivery vehicle coming by right at this right time, huh? As you can see, I'm pulling it apart, and there seems to be a like a double layer here. Peeled off another piece. It's got some uh, it's got a plastic coating on it again. it says to press down and hold it for 35 or yeah 35 to 40 seconds I believe it is and if you see that just fits in between the two lines that I got on this tire with ordering a one inch um, lettering for this Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and use my heat gun as well. Temperature out here is around 70, so I'm at the lower end of the spectrum for being safe to do this. So I don't think heating it up is going to hinder it any from sealing and they do say to take some glue and go around the edges and everything, you know. So that's why I'll make sure I put on, put do put it on moderately. And when you press down on it, make sure you press down on enough that you can squeeze some glue out, I think, around the edges. And I think that'll do just about the same. Yeah, because this is... If you see this, I'm pushing on this and it's not wanting to move. It is sticking really well with doing it this way. And of course they say that, you know, after these are on here, you're supposed to be able to clean your tires and put whatever you want on here for a you know polishing and everything just like normal and these are supposed to uh, be just fine so let's see on to the next one
We're doing okay, and I guess I'll just uh, continue on down the line, just like the way I'm going. Okay, fast forward, and I've got lettering done for one of them. Matt Power. So now it's going scat pack. I gotta rotate my tire and get the shaker put on the bottom. Looks cool. Okay, everybody. Just finished up the shaker on the top. Put the scat pack down on the bottom. Oh, it takes a little bit of time. Doesn't take so much time doing the glue, and I think the getting rid of all the rubber and making it flat that's really the hardest part. That's the part that takes the time. Um, I guess three more to go. All right, everybody had to wash the car, it had way too much rubber all over it. But as you can see. I think they turned out pretty awesome. <sighs> Shaker skit pack. And we got it on all four. Now, like I said before, that was a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, it took me probably, I would say approximately two to two and a half hours per tire to do this. And I was doing it without just sanding, with sandpaper. So I can't imagine doing that with just sandpaper. That would have to be awful. But I think the end results, in my opinion, are worth it. Especially if you like lettering. And I'm, I guess, you know, more old school. I like lettering on tires. I don't like getting just plain black wall tires. <laughs> but anyways. Um, like this video. Share this video, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to me. Um, like I said, I've got I've got some more parts on the way, some more little things here and there that uh, I will be making videos of and changing and showing you guys. So take care, DW's Garage. Out of here.